Hi everyone, welcome back to our new RimWorld colony campaign here. All on, all, all on my lonesome or something, I haven't named it yet. Anyway, let's uh, keep on going. I'm down here stargazing and I'm hauling some berries to our future... Um, uh, future freezer here, Dannebrog. Uh, I don't know um, if we should name our place after a Danish fort, I think it was. Anyway, uh, so... Let's, um, since we're going with a Crusoe theme here with Tuesday and um, some lonesome isolation, let's uh, Islandton. Like an island, but a town. And I suppose our theme for this colony is gonna be, um, well, an island theme. We're gonna ward off some uh, cannibals and. Um, name every new edition a day of the week or something i don't know we'll figure it out i'm building for uh, i'm building as quickly as i can escape pod okay so um, let's turn this into a prisoner cell then i think We're, we should take a look at this guy first girl teenage female space refugee good social great research okay you are our new addition pretty much Let's get me to capture Cammy. See how hard it, she is to. Um, let's actually let. Well, her health is pretty much okay. We might have to give her some medicine. Wow, she's released to recruit as well. We're gonna rename her though. We can't forget that. To. Uh, We're gonna have to remember to build a um, bedroom for her as well. Now uh, Tuesday is finally mining. Hopefully he can get it done. He can. So now we can start off our construction of the freezer and um, our defense from this direction. And our uh, solar generator. Cool. Well, uh, this colony is uh, expanding a lot faster than I was expecting. Probably faster than you were expecting as well. I don't really know what the gold is for. I suppose it's um, if you wanna. It's for if you wanna trade it off and uh, get a bit of a head start in the trading game. And uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm not exactly complaining um, about that. It's uh, it should grant us somewhat of a head start. Hopefully, if any trader decide to ever show up. I just gave Tuesday, um, my neighbors just started to vacuum, my upstairs neighbors, hopefully you can't hear it, otherwise I'll try to get it out in post. Um, I got, gave uh, Tuesday the maze he was being chased with earlier. And I know we're allowing um, our colonists to sleep on the floor right now, but... It's a necessary evil, not necessary, but um, they can deal with it and then uh, we're gonna get another bed done and all the floors done as soon as possible. Hey, right, we should um, store our medicine in here as well. And we got a wild boar. Uh, okay. They can haul, can't they? Cool. I've got a blight, which is horrible. And considering we got another addition to our colony, we should probably build some more growing zones. We need some cotton, don't we? So we can get some better um, gear for our colonists. Hopefully we can recruit Cammy today. Tuesday should be on it. Ok, 
Okay, why is... Ah, oh, he was out for a walk. Right, we should look at the um, restrictions here. Let's get a joy hour at the, first, at the, early, at the start of the day and then uh, they should work the rest of the day. We got Cammy. Cool. Now let's um, manage our um, priorities here. They're both. She's actually better, a better warden. They, yeah. The um, difference is some minors. We can allow both of them to be um, number one wardens, I think. And let's make sure that they always have something to do. Always haul and clean before research, and other than that, hunting pretty high. Otherwise, um, although you're, you're not gonna have a weapon, so there's not much you can do in a hunting respect. You're a bit of a grower, so see if you if you can't help us grow some. And that actually reminds me, we should build a research bench, even though we don't have any. Uh, any steel to build it with, we st should still try and try and build it. We got a friendly fire safety here. Um, oh, I didn't know that you could put a, a gun wielding um, colonist right straight behind another one and they won't target each other, or they won't accidentally hit each other, so that's cool. That's something I'm gonna keep in mind. Where do we get all of these animals from? What the hell? Okay, so sure, I mean... I won't complain. I'm, I'm mainly... <laughs> and they just made love. Amazing. Um, I'm mainly surprised that we got so many animals so quickly we're gonna allow our warg to roam freely i'm fairly certain uh, paisley can uh, survive pretty much on her own we pretty much need to build um build some um animal almost an animal room just for animals suppose that should be something for the future. I just realized that Tuesday doesn't have any ranged weapon either, so... Uh, you know what? We should build um, a crafting spot, just uh, temporarily, and then we're gonna ask them to build um, short bows two times, so that both Tuesday and Cammy can have some ranged weapon as well. <laughs> we have four animals right now. Keep um, confusing um, the animal sleeping spot with the crafting spot. Okay, we got a minor break risk for Kami for some reason. Depressive. We keep getting the best mentally capable colonists, don't we? Tuesday should grow before he runs away and mines, so... Um, Hopefully we can get all of this growing done as soon as possible. And who is our handler? Let's see if we can get both um, Tuesday and Cammy to handle. We don't have a lot of food yet left, so we should try to get that sorted as well by... First of all, putting everyone on a very high plant cut and also um, pretty much doing this. So that all of the berries in the area are harvested by us. No uh, rotten, so they should uh, be transported away soon. <laughs> Although Paisley is eating from the rotten corpse. Okay, we want, yeah, we will generate some uh, power because our only power generating unit right now is still uh, this fuel generator. Good, we're making sure to um, Harvesting all the berries that we can. Then hopefully we're gonna cut down some trees as well so we can keep the generator topped off. Although it's gonna keep going for another two days.
Okay, Kami had a make mental break. Right, we forgot to rename her. Okay, so let's think here. Easy to mentally break. Um. What kind of... She's a female, teenage. A lot of social, a lot of research. I don't know. Okay, so a very social... Let's just go with something easy. Schnook. Okay. Okay, I, I have to. I have to go with Doctor. I just love the idea of someone being named Doctor Schnook. Even better, Professor Schnook. Cool. Professor Tuesday and Snookies. And a puking um, Labradoodle Typhoon <laughs> in Islandton. I'm going. I'm growing quite fond of our little uh, colony here. And now we should have enough wood to take us at least through the winter. A man manhunter pack of two um, wild boars. Well, um, I think we can handle that. How much food do we have? Quite a lot and it's gonna last quite a while. So let's scale back the plant cutting a bit. Um, the warg is asleep, I hope. Yep, it is. Okay, so um, the wild boars have arrived. Hopefully they don't fuck up our um, turret too much. See if we can take some shots. Well, hopefully we can get away here. We got a scratch, fortunately. Couldn't... Okay. Um, seems like uh, Tuesday have a lot of um, animals following her. I guess that's fine. And hopefully our turret can take these animals out before it gets destroyed. So we can, if we can take another shot here. On. Nice. Okay. Cool. That's a dead boar and this is a boar that should be hunted. Uh, do we have any good uh, doctors? I should be doctoring, but otherwise Tuesday should be doctoring. So see if we can uh, treat me here. We were quite lucky that the Manhunter pack wasn't as big, but I suppose it has to do with us not, in, not, us not having a lot of wealth and also not being so large yet, but at the same time we are playing Randy Random, Randy Savage and uh, Randy Savage Random and um, it could have been anything really. Now I would like to get this um, freezer up running before these boars completely rot away. So, fortunately, the professor is re really slow at mining. Otherwise, would put her, because it's a her, right? Yeah, uh, at mining, at mining some um, some of the iron that we need. But fortunately now Tuesday should be finished with uh, the growing and then we can uh, hopefully get him to 
You know what, Tuesday, you can do this later on. We need you to mine right now. Okay, this is not the mining I had in mind, but we need that to be done as well, so. And I know that this these rocks are gonna be, or these, these chunks are gonna be hauled off to, off to this stockpile zone 1. But that's not that because we haven't made a dumping stockpile yet. But we're gonna do just that in the future sometime. We, we don't have enough, and they're not in the way enough that we uh, can really justify having one right now. I'm gonna cancel this. I'm also gonna cancel. I'm gonna keep keep that one on and those on so that I want the freezer up and running as soon as possible, and it should be going. Coming along, coming along soon, soonish at least. Um, and we do have more than enough components to get around. Okay, so we got four animals, and they're all fast asleep with uh, Tuesday and the professor. I don't know how I got stuck with a cupboard bedroom, but you know, you've actually got the lamp running. We don't have many meals left, but the warg is gonna feed itself on these rotting, rotting corpses, apparently. And um, Uh, and we do have enough berries, or maybe we don't actually. Yeah, we do have a lot of berries, so um, everyone should be doing fine on those. Although, as I say that, we should get um, a kitchen going, or at least uh, and a fuel stove going as soon as possible as well. Okay, so they failed in building the research bench, unfortunately. Well, shit happens, I suppose. I'm gonna place a butchering table and a fueled electric, a fuel stove, and not a fuel electric stove, so that we can actually cook the berries into something more um, useful, or at least something more palpable, palpable than. Um, raw berries. Even though berries are nice to eat, they aren't super nice to eat long term, I think. I know I grow tired of it anyway. Probably most people would. Or even get food poisoning from it. Let's um, harvest some more berries. So we have uh, something of a steady inflow of berries. Right, joy source, the thing I always forget. Um, absolutely, we should uh, get a horseshoe going so that we can do something on our off time. Kind of want to dig into the mountains, we can find out what's inside. Uh, if there's any iron, mainly, but uh, and it could be other stuff as well. Now we do have, have a whole lot of um, Okay, so let's put hauling and cleaning on the back burner for me so we actually start constructing things. Um okay we got food poisoning in there. Not the end of the world. Let's see here. Uh wargs. They only eat meat, so we can actually um, butcher any any human corpses that we um, bring into the camp. 
I know, I know it might seem a bit uh, brutal to um, butcher humans like that, but you know, if they attack us, they um, pay the price. And finally, we got our cooler going. Let's put that at negative nine degrees Celsius, and hopefully we can. Although we we need a roof first of all, so let's see if we can uh, prioritize building a roof here. Cool. Now it isn't a, it isn't roofed. What am I doing? I'm I am building stuff. Everything done then? No. Okay, now this should all be roofed, it is. And now we just wait and see if we can get it below zero Celsius. We, we can, we already have, so that's nice. And uh, now, um, make sure that we cook some meals. And you know what, let's make sure that we don't use any meat. So that our warg always have something to eat. I'm gonna add a build to butcher, butcher creatures um, forever. I'm gonna make sure that the ingredient radius isn't too long. Just basically just our stockpile over here in the right lower right corner and the freezer. And then I'm gonna actually allow human-like corpses. Not colonists though. Um, should probably bury those at least. Okay, that's it for this episode anyway, I'm gonna take a break here and then I'm gonna get back and see what our next undertaking is gonna be. Hopefully you like this new series and please leave a like and um, show your support, it means a great lot to me and it helps out a lot and other than that I uh, hope I see you next time. Have a great day, bye!